Hey friends, welcome back to Tealstone Homestead. The last couple of days have been absolutely terrible. Um, and I, I always hate making videos where I like come to you with bad news. I don't know why. I mean, this is, this is real life and sometimes things just happen. Um, but basically what ended up happening was we had a storm sweep through northeastern Indiana. Um, on Monday night and so at 11 p.m. we had a giant lightning strike very close to our house and immediately all of our power was cut off and um, so since that happened uh, we went that night we slept we had no power and we were assuming that it would come back on pretty quickly but it never did and so i got an update on my phone saying that our power was not due to be restored until the following thursday night which would have been three days without power so um i'm panicking at this point because right when this happened we were due to have a two to three day heat wave here in indiana and so um, a heat wave as in dangerous enough to kill my rabbits and so i'm panicking because i don't have fans out in my rabbitry i don't have any ac i don't have anything and i'm worried that my rabbits are gonna die luckily my dad was able to bring us a generator so that really helped um, at least power the ac in our own house so we were able to do that and so we we were cool in the house so i ended up bringing the majority of all of my rabbits in here and uh, there's a lot of rabbits in here <laughs> unfortunately though I don't have enough carriers to actually put all of my rabbits in um, I have carriers for most of them but I had two mamas with litters outside as well as a uh, four little junior bucks that are living together I still have them out there too so um, I left all of them in the grow out tractors because I was assuming because they were so close to the ground that they would be more safe than my rabbits in the stuffy rabbitry garage area. Um, but unfortunately, uh, that day, um, that day was really, really hard because, um, a lot of things happened that day. The generator was really stressing me out. Um, I don't like stuff like that. I have like an irrational fear of electrocution and fire. I don't know why. I can use power tools like no problem, but for some reason I'm like terrified of fire and electrocution. I can't explain it. It's just part of just one of my fears. Um, so anyway, I was stressed out about the generator all day long, um, but then also when I went out to check on my grow out pins later that day, um, it was it was kind of later in the day, maybe around five ish. And uh, I opened one of the grow out pins to find Tundra and one of her babies dead. I just really kind of broke down at that point um, because I love Tundra and I feel really helpless and almost like I'm to blame. I didn't know what to do. And so I felt like it was all my fault. We didn't have power running out there and um, there was just really nothing I could do. I guess the, the real feel temperature says it was like 113 degrees outside. Um, it was like, it was probably 90, 98 or 99 degrees, but apparently it was supposedly, it felt like 113 and I, I assume that she and her baby had a heat stroke. And I also lost a quail hen, um, so it has, has not been fun. I felt very helpless. I felt very defeated. Um, so it's, it's not been fun. Um, and I hate, I hate that this stuff happens. Um, I miss Tundra a lot. I had a lot of plans for her, and so it's one of those ones that actually hurts a lot more than normal, so i um, not happy about that at all. Um, but we had to push forward. So the next day I was scrambling again trying to figure out how to bring Roulette and her babies in here um, And so I, I eventually found a way to bring them all in here But it's just it's kind of a mess in here now And so I I've tried my very very hardest, but I can only do so much so um but I got them all in here, uh, minus the junior bucks that are on the ground. Like I just, I don't have enough room. I can't, I don't have enough room, but they were fine last night. So thankful for that. And the heat wave is finally breaking. Um, 
as of today, it's not going to be nearly as hot. I think it's supposed to be probably 89 or 90 degrees, but not not as hot as it was because it was just brutal outside. And so um, I'm very frustrated that I lost Tundra, though. I just I keep thinking about it, and it just keeps making me feel like a failure. But um, we actually got power back yesterday during the day. Uh, so a day sooner than we were expected. So we were out of power for Monday night, all of Tuesday, and half of Wednesday. And so um, we just, we finally got it back. And so um, I still can't put my rabbits out there though, because when we got it back, uh, we have found that a bunch of our appliances and a bunch of other things have uh, surged. And so now we don't have a refrigerator, we don't have an oven, we lost two of our fans out in the rabbitry that were plugged into an outlet. They both surged and they're both dead now. And our garage door also surged and doesn't work now. So um, I'm really hoping that insurance can help us with that because um, as you guys know, we are in the process of moving and um, we, we really don't have the money to like fix these things. So it's, uh, it's just like the perfect storm, you know? And um, my job has recently, within the last week, moved me to part-time because of COVID. My firm is really struggling to keep a client base at the moment. So uh, I have moved to part-time, so I'm trying to do this more. And I told Jameson it could be a blessing in disguise because I really like talking to you guys anyway. So uh, it could be good that this has happened, but also it's really bad right now because we don't have a lot of money. So it's just kind of a really tough time right now. Um, we need to order a new refrigerator for sure. But anyway, today, since we do have power back, um, I really need to work on getting these guys back out into the rabbitry. And I know it's gonna be really hot out there and I know we don't have our fans out there, but I do have a portable AC unit that I had been borrowing. Luckily that didn't surge. So I'm gonna work on getting that portable AC unit hooked up and going. And then hopefully we can actually have our rabbits in a livable environment. Uh, it just sucks when you don't have fans running in there, the flies really gather and it just is suffocating in there. So I do have Sparrow and her nest box out there because Sparrow has four babies right now. Um, so I've been shelving them during the day. Every single day it's just been scrambling trying to figure out what the best thing to do is so nobody dies. And I've never been in this situation where we didn't have power and, um, and had to figure these things out. So it's been extremely stressful. Uh, it's just not been a fun, not been a fun time at all. We currently have our beds set up downstairs because upstairs was like brutally hot. Like it was worse upstairs than it actually was outside. So have our bed downstairs. We've been sleeping downstairs uh, on the floor. We brought our memory foam down. It's actually been really comfortable actually. And it's kind of given us an idea of what it's gonna feel like when we're in the shed, I think, because it's really close quarters. Like the, the bed is now really close to the kitchen. So I don't know, it's kind of given us, I think a little bit of a glimpse of what it's gonna be like living in the shed. And I actually really liked it. So um, that was nice. <laughs> but yeah, so I am gonna show you guys um, I'm gonna show you guys all these guys in here. We are gonna work on getting that portable AC unit hooked up and hopefully everything goes well with that. Um, and yeah, hopefully we get everything sorted out. This, sometimes life gives you lemons and you gotta run with it and that is where I am at right now. That is where we are at right now. So let's get to working today. As per usual, I have no idea, you guys, why literally every time I want to film, uh, neighbor's doing something every single time. So here is the rabbitry. Other than these two guys in here, we have nobody else in here. It's completely empty. Um, and we do have this one fan running on these two, so that's been good for them at least. Um, but yeah, we've got this portable AC unit. 
Um, I don't think they make this brand anymore. This is a really old brand, but I will link a, a portable AC unit down in the description down below. This thing is really handy for times like these. So, but as you can see, there's like flies. If you don't have airflow in here, the flies just kind of love to gather. So I really need to get this hooked up before it gets any warmer and really uh, get some airflow moving in here. What I want to try to do is see that dryer vent. There used, to, I guess there used to be a dryer. I, I, or something. I don't really know why that's there, but I would really love to get the quail moved and cut the drywall out inside of the rabbit tree and see if I can vent the AC unit out that. Um, but yeah, gotta move the quail because they will cook if I don't. <laughs> All right, step one is complete. I managed to get a hole cut in the drywall and it will vent all the hot air. Yes, there's duct tape, you guys. I'm tr I, I'll be home like every time this runs. I'm not leaving it running ever when I'm not here. And then we rigged up this dryer vent that somebody used to have here to vent it out here. And hopefully it's not too close to the quail. If it feels a little bit too warm, I might have to move them somewhere else. Um, but again, I'll be checking that all day long. We have air conditioning. It's going to take a while to cool down the rabbit tree. It says it's 82 in here right now. But yeah, now we've got to move everybody back in. Uh, it's going to be a little bit stuffy until it cools down, but hopefully it cools down quickly. Here are Roulette's babies out in the tractor. They're all doing good. <laughs> Hi guys. Some of them, I don't know if you guys can see, but like sometimes in the hot weather, you can start to see Kit's ears tipping. That one right there, his, he's got a little tipped ear. And that can sometimes happen when it gets really hot or like extreme temperature swings, their ears can tip. Um, it's really cute. <laughs> But it's nothing really to worry about. It usually straightens out with age. So I don't really worry about it, but you look like a little jester. Yeah. And it looks like Roulette is hiding out inside here. It feels pretty good out, doesn't it, Roulette? Yeah. Roulette still needs to be granted. I've been needing to send her paperwork in for a really long time, so I'm happy for her. I think that she's a really good mama. She is Mira's daughter and Mira now lives up in Michigan. These are Tundra's babies that she left behind. So yes, they are little orphans now. Um, they should be old enough to be fine without her. They just turned six weeks old, so I'm hoping that everybody's gonna be fine. Um, it's always a stressful situation when you lose mom suddenly, but I'm really hoping that everyone's gonna be okay. Typically when this happens at this age, anytime they're like over five weeks old, um, the main thing that I just focus on is really pushing the hay. So I just want to make sure that everybody's eating a lot of hay. Uh, that's my main concern because enteritis is very likely when they lose mom suddenly. Um, so as much fiber as you can push into their diet with hay is always a good idea. So ev everyone's doing fine so far. I'm not super worried i think they're all gonna be okay but i do miss tundra for sure um she definitely leaves a hole um missing in this rabbit tree but i do have one of her older daughters that i've held back she is several months old already from her last round of litters um and then these guys you know maybe we'll find somebody from here that we like as well so um but yeah, um, it's just what we got to deal with, but they're really enjoying that the weather is not so hot. And I'm really happy that, you know, everybody else seems to be doing fine. So hopefully that 
trend continues. Okay, you guys, so I think mostly everything is back to normal. Um, the AC is running. Sorry, it's kind of loud. Um, I've also got a rabbit trying to destroy the wall. So, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm happy things are getting back to normal. It feels really good. Um, it feels pretty good in here. The AC is really working. Um, it's not super duper cold, but I don't necessarily need it to be super duper cold. I just need it to be, you know, bearable and so my rabbits don't die. <laughs> There's a lot of people that say that you should breed rabbits for heat tolerance. And while I agree that um, your rabbits should be used to your climate, uh, if they can't survive in your climate, it's kind of like survival of the fittest. But the last several days, we have had a heat warning. Um, and it has been extremely brutal. This is not what we normally experience here. Um, I mean, we experience hot days, but it's typically not this awful. Um, so in the instances like these, I'm going to do whatever I can to keep my rabbits alive. Um, I brought most of these guys in the house. I mean, obviously Tundra and her babies and Roulette and her babies and then my junior cream bucks, they all stayed outside in the grow out pens because uh, they were close to the ground and I was assuming that they would be fine. Um, and Roulette and her babies were fine, the junior bucks were fine. Um, but like I said earlier, I did lose Tundra and one of her babies and I Like I want to be mad at myself for it. I Just don't know what else I could have done, you know, it does suck um, And I know that there have been people in much worse off situations than me And I'm not doubting that it just in my current situation. It really does. I feel the effects of it It's been just awful losing power right before a um heat warning and heat wave with really bad humidity where it feels 113 degrees outside and it feels like you're drowning outside worst case scenario it's been the perfect storm <laughs> here and so i'm really hoping that that doesn't happen again because i feel like that was one of the worst things i've ever experienced so there's been a lot of stress here i'm still feeling just so tired um, from scrambling around these last several days scrambling around in the heat um, so I'm just looking forward to, you know, just norm, normal, normalness. <laughs> I'm going to run the AC if it gets over 90 degrees outside because it does get stuffy in here, like I said. So I'm going to run the AC if it gets over 90 degrees, but, uh, for the most part, I don't want to have to run the AC. It's kind of just an emergency thing. So like tonight, I'm going to shut it off because it's going to be like 70 tonight. They don't need the AC running when it's 70. So I'm going to be turning it off tonight. Hopefully I won't even have to turn it on tomorrow or the next day. Um, I know there's a day next week that is supposed to be extremely hot. So it will be on that day. Um, and hopefully we won't have the power go out and everyone will be fine. My cages are a mess, you guys. Um, I'm usually a much cleaner person than this, but honestly at this point, because I know we are going to be taking them apart and moving them in the next month or two. I am not cleaning them because I just figured I would clean them when I moved them. So um, please don't come at me about my cages being dirty and like cobwebs being everywhere. I know, I know that they're dirty. It's driving me crazy too, but I just, I want to wait until we actually move because I know that I'm going to clean them a lot better when we get out there. So hopefully our insurance covers the appliances that have surged and don't work anymore. Um, that's that's a bit of a stressor <laughs> right now, honestly. Um, all of our food in our refrigerator went bad, so that's not fun. But um, we have stuff like creamer and milk and uh, a couple other things in our in a cooler with ice. <laughs> so that's gonna be how we're gonna have to be living for the next several days, more than likely. Um, we're gonna go ahead and order a new fridge because we need a fridge. That's important, especially when you have something like this and you make most of your own food um, we need a fridge so the little cooler is not going to cut it so we'll probably go ahead and order a fridge here pretty soon I know this wasn't like a really cheerful video but uh, this is real life and sometimes this is what we got to deal with so I'm trying to bring you guys more videos and I'm hoping that you're enjoying them I am part-time now so like I said I will hopefully be bringing you a lot more videos in the future and so I, I really want to be doing two videos a week so um, if you're not already subscribed please hit that subscribe button comment down below because every comment that I get boosts me in the algorithm which really helps me out to get views and in turn 
get revenue, so which we need right now because uh, yeah, um, we're moving and our appliances just all surged. So yes, I, I need that right now. Please comment. <laughs> Hit that like button and also hit the bell because that will notify you every time I upload a new video or go live. I will be doing a tattoo live stream here pretty soon because I have six creams that need tattooed and they are almost 10 weeks old or they are probably already 10 weeks old so they need tattooed. <laughs> so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and with that I will see you in the next one. Bye!